I suppose you know the Trunchbull has a lock-up cupboard in her private quarters called the Chokey. Have you heard about the Chokey? Matilda and Lavender shook their heads and continued to gaze up at the giant. Being very small, they were inclined to mistrust any creature that was larger than they were, especially senior girls. The Chokey, Hortensio went on, is a very tall but very narrow cupboard. The floor is only ten inches square, so you can't sit down or squat in it. You have to stand. And three of the walls are made of cement, with bits of broken glass sticking out all over, so you can't lean against them. You have to stand more or less to attention all the time when you get locked up in there. It's terrible. Can't you lean against the door? Matilda asked. Don't be daft, Hortensia said. The door's got thousands of sharp spiky nails sticking out of it. They've been hammered through from the outside, probably by the Trunchbull herself. Have you ever been in there? Lavender asked. My first term, I was in there six times, Hortensia said. Twice for a whole day, and the other times for two hours each. But two hours is quite bad enough. It's pitch dark, and you have to stand up dead straight. And if you wobble at all, you get spiked either by the glass on the walls or the nails on the door. Why were you put in? Matilda asked. What had you done? The first time, Hortensia said, I poured half a tin of golden syrup onto the seat of the chair the Trunchbull was going to sit on at prayers. It was wonderful. When she lowered herself into the chair, there was a loud squelching noise, similar to that made by a hippopotamus when lowering its foot into the mud on the banks of the Limpopo River. But you're too small and stupid to have read the just-so stories, aren't you? I've read them, Matilda said. You're a liar, Hortensia said amiably. You can't even read yet, but no matter. So when the Trunchbull sat down on the golden syrup, the squelch was beautiful. And when she jumped up again, the chair sort of stuck to the seat of those awful green breeches she wears and came up with her for a few seconds until the thick syrup slowly came unstuck. Then she clasped her hands to the seat of her breeches and both hands got covered in the muck. You should have heard her bellow. How did she know it was you? Lavender asked. A little squirt called Lolly Bogwhistle sneaked on me, Hortensia said. I knocked his front teeth out. And the Trunchbull put you in the chokey for a whole day? Matilda asked, gulping. All day long, Hortensia said. I was off my rocker when she left me out. I was babbling like an idiot. <laughs> 